Hi everybody, my name is Maggie Schulte, and I'm here to talk to you guys about STEM. You may be thinking, I already know what stems are. Stems are what holds up the leafy green plants that are behind you. But no, it's not those types of stems. STEM is a program. Now, you may be thinking, wait, I've actually heard those words before. Maybe your older brother or sisters are in a STEM program themselves. Or maybe even across your own school, you have STEM banners in front of it. When I was your age, I had no idea what stems meant. I even remember the first time I heard the word stems, and not the plant stems. I was on my way to swim practice when I realized they put up new banners on the school. I asked my mom, what do these banners mean? Because all it did was spell out the letters S, T, E, and M. And she told me that each letter represented something. The S represented science, the T represented technology, the E represented engineering, and the M represented mathematics. And I told my mom, Mom, you know that doesn't apply to me. I'm not interested in any of that stuff now. But fast forward to high school. I now find psychology very interesting. You may be wondering, I did not hear you say psychology. You said science, technology, engineering, and math. But psychology actually closely represents the S in science. Psychology is the study of the mind and the behavior within people which is kind of a type of science. Biology is also the study with one another, so they closely relate. You may be wondering, well, how did you get interested in psychology then? I remember the exact thing that made me interested. I was sitting in class so bored one day. I was slouched over on my desk like this. I was watching some of my other friends just around class, nodding my head off like this, when I saw somebody yell out, a big yawn, oh. And I realized that I didn't have to yawn before that. But when I saw them yawn, I'm like, whoa, what's happening to me? And yeah, I yawned myself. Some of you across the screen right now might be even yawning yourselves or like have a feeling in your throat that's about to yawn. So you may be thinking, how does that happen? And I drew out a good picture for you. So if your teacher is teaching the class and they let out a big yawn, here's you and some of your friends. You might see the yawn and the vibrations in the air go to you and you start to yawn yourself. Or your friend Paul might start to yawn. Some people think that yawning is contagious, but it's not actually contagious. The vibrations and the sound in the air are wired into our systems to be repeated. And that is why I am now interested in STEM programs today. I hope that one day that you guys will also be interested in a STEM program. Thanks for listening.